Look at that, man. This is crazy, dude. We did this. We dug through the mountains, or at least the uh, base of the mountains, but still. Our accomplishments should not be denied. All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome to Railway Empire. Yep, that's right. The Kingdom of Toast is going to be expanding itself into other industries. We have a DeLorean that can travel through time, so I can hop around and kind of do what I please. In 1863, All right. on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the trans Look at that Buffalo. He's began. pooping everywhere. We need to get Buffalo poop and use it as fuel to power our dystopian steampunk empire. Initially, your train only exists on paper. Choo-choo, choo, mother truckers are coming up in here to build our transcontinental toastopian train line. Because I'm a train baron. The Baron Train Kingdom. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and connect it from. Oop. Just cancel that. I don't want to go to Omaha, Omaha. So we'll cancel that and then, uh, boop. Now I've got to build. I've set up the railway. Now we're going to add a locomotive. And, um, yo, it's a nice Philly. Should we check out. We, you can customize it. Now I haven't gotten to this stage of the game just yet where you can kind of add these different roles. And thus, kind of like, what, I could have security guards and they maybe I'd get robbed less? I'm going to add a dining car or a refrigerator car. I don't have the caboose research just yet. So, let's, does that stay? Yes, it does. All right, and let's purchase that. Ching, ching, mother truckers. Very good. Mother trainers. Now you can see the journey oh, yeah, look at this train. Take. Our first if train, guys. To transport, the train will automatically take it. Look at that. Isn't this game... This game is just freaking absolutely beautiful. So, here's Omaha, and on the map, here's Norfolk. But on the map, it said, I think I need to get to Cheyenne. However, but there's also needs water, lots of cities everywhere. You can see them on the map as these little dots. A supply tower oh, build a supply route. tower. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Put her there, partner. Very good. The train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. For example, every city needs corn. Okay, we need Look, corn. There is a corn farm near. Now we got corn right here. Until now, the corn I'm gonna build a uh, small train station. Way, but we want to change that. All right, so now we're gonna have to connect this corn up to the Omaha. The corn farm within its radius. All right, so that is and adequate. Now, the new rural train now we'll connect it with our trains. And we were gonna go right up here to uh, Omaha, and we're gonna purchase that. And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. Ah, yeah. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. All right. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. Ooh. This consists of one parallel track. Look what I just did. Two signals. What First I'm gonna do track. It needs to be at least is look at this some advanced train point. stuff. Pay and build. Okay, but um, now as far as over here, we're gonna have to do the same. I am Baron von Trains after all. Okay, so I need to build a sidetrack over here. That would allow for see right here. This is this is now I've got two stations, so the train should be able to overlap without too much issue. Now, but here's where because basically we don't want to do a, a double track all the way from Omaha to Norfolk because then it's just inefficient. We spent a lot of money on the rail, even though that's what I would like to do. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a little bit of this, yeah, yeah, and. How do we do? We did good. And this supply station in the middle can feed both. Now we got to do Now we got to do signals. You also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Yeah. All right. Now open building construction Let's get a signal. And I want them traveling up the right. Pointing in the direction of the switch. Trains will then be able to stop here when the single track is in use. How do I do? Yeah, I did. Now I need so to rotate this. Has a different direction. 
Place there we a second go. signal on the highlighted area and block the track to trains coming from the So we'll go direction. up on the right very tracks. Sure we're we're going to do it very, you know, American style. I think what the English do it different, right? Are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under hints and tips. Well, thank you, sir. Now assemble a new train and give it a locomotive and Oh yeah, we got to get the corn the from you need corn huskers. You guys are you guys familiar with the, the Nebraska? Nebraska Corn Huskers, University of Nebraska. Ooh, it looks like we got steak and boots, or maybe just boots are people. Leather. Okay, no, it is, uh, in fact, leather that is being transported, as well as people. Now, over here is our corn, so we need a corn train. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a, uh, a new train. We're going to first set up the rail line. We'll go from Evans Farm to... Now a semi train, we want to go Omaha to Norfolk. Okay, so we're going Omaha and Norfolk. Okay, we'll select that rail. Now we got to build the train. Now as far as rail cars, this is just going to be refrigerated car. Freight revenue for food. Does that, does, does corn, I'm going to put that on there. I don't know for sure. I don't think we need to refrigerate corn. But I'm gonna do it just to see if it works. The corn farm will automatically make use of your train. Okay. Because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. All right, so here we go. Where's our we're train? We're missing something. Locomotives were out over time and need to be regularly maintained. Oh yeah. So they can perform their duties more reliably. Okay. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Okay. Tell me how to do it. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and ah, expand the station boom. with this building. 80,000. Right. Yikes, that's We've expensive. We've been lollygagging for long enough. I need to return to now, Washington how would... for further miserable negotiations with our representatives. All right, now this guy's going to stop talking, and we get to do what we want. We're going to build the Toastopian Train Empire. All right, so we'll check out the task. What do we want to do? Okay, so we need to... We need to connect Omaha and North Platte, and then Omaha and Cheyenne. So let's find North Platte. I'm assuming they're all in this. All right, North Platte. Oh, here's North Platte. $350,000 bonus just for connecting to it? Yeah, because we are low on the money monies. And then we've got Cheyenne Mountain over here. All right, so I'm going to have... So I put my train station in the middle. You want to see something really, really cool? Of course you do. I can put it in the middle. Like, look at this. See, if I put it there, what happens to the buildings, right? So let's, let's rotate it a little bit. I'm going to have North Platte be... In my opinion, if I put a train station in the middle of the city... The railway is more is far more important than the city is of itself. Now I'm gonna get let's see. Oh man, that's gonna be a relatively long distance, ain't it? Ain't it? How much is that gonna be? 101,000? I can't do it. I've gotta wait for like two thousand dollars. So one of my trains, where are you at trains? Should be getting money from the drop off of this train. Oh, here we go. Yeah, basically I pause, when you're building rail lines, it pauses the game. So here we go, let's, boom. And we got $350,000. Whoa, connection bonus of 550,000? Oh no, that was weird. That was weird like a little blip. Oh, connection bonus here. Okay, got it. So I get 550,000 from connecting my Norfolk line to Cheyenne. Now eventually, Let's see, let's check the objectives and see where we want to go next. So we, Omaha to Cheyenne, because I got to see, because look at this, here's Cheyenne, but here's Denver, and Denver's got a two population city, while Cheyenne only has one. I think of all of my cities that I have access to right now, they're all about at one. Denver, if I'm going there, then I've got to, I want to put my station so it kind of curves, right? Okay. Or we got to figure out where we're going next. Um, Denver, Cheyenne. 150,000 people. Connect Omaha and Rock Springs. Okay. Well, where is Rock? There it is. Okay, so we're going to have to go through this mountain pass here. So then I've got to I've got to have this station kind of adjust as such. Now, do I want a large station? I think I do. And I'm going to put it up on the top here. Look at that. And look at little Cheyenne, man. All right, so now we're going to connect Oh, there is there are these two resources here. 
What is this? Salt? Salt. Okay, and then this is stone. And then there's wheat and wood all around here. There's a lot of resources, plus this should be cotton. Cotton. Oh, and Rapid City's a big city. But yeah, man, imagine having a city and then the rail line's like, nah, man, we're skipping you, we're going to your friends. Oh my god, there's a storm system out here. This game is beautiful and intuitive, so I want to know how my trains are doing. These guys are both riding on the same track right now, so he should stop right here. Ah, he's doing it. And then this guy will go. And eventually we want to get two railroads up here and connect that when we have a little bit more money. We've only got $180,000. So, and we haven't connected. We're about to get 550,000, but it's like, I think I might just do a rail line through it. Aha, it works, it works. Now we gotta specify which one we want. I'm gonna do the middle one and we will purchase it. And now we just got $550,000 and we completed both our tasks for 1864. And it's only 1863. Let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town, hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection. But a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Hmm. Okay. Needs Cities to be supplied with goods. basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places and establish railroads, like what I gotta get this cotton? Or I gotta get goods, and you will make profits Ooh, what's for this? transportation. But for this, you have Clay. to know what goods a city actually needs. You can find out any city's current needs. Now select Cheyenne and view the city's demand for goods. As you can Stock see, Cheyenne in the city. Only a handful of goods. Weekly demand. Man, weekly demand is poop. In demand. As the city grows, it will demand further goods. At the moment, you can supply grain and wood. Both of these goods are available to the north of Cheyenne. Okay. Where? Oh, timber the wood and the wheat, and wheat are right here. And establish a new rail line that connects them both to Cheyenne. All right. Now there is a way, see this, the circle of influence. If I build a large one. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Should I build, should I build two 40,000s or one 200,000? I think it'd actually be cheaper to do a two 40,000s. Let's see how we could do that. Then they're what? They're both on the same line? Hmm. Yeah, and then it's like, this would be easier logistically to just put a 200,000 in there. But then we're limiting our money by... 40-40 by what? Potentially $120,000. I'm just gonna keep it simple here. And use one train to transport it because the demand to Cheyenne wasn't very high, actually. Alright, so then we'll just get one rail from like the middle. And, oh, look at that. It, it curves. That's so cool. All right, and then we will purchase that. Yeah, see, that rail alone costs $91,000. All right, now we need a train. So let's go ahead over here. And we'll add a train. And we want the train to go from rail line from, oh, I love how just easy this is. We'll do that. Add the locomotive. And we're going to be transporting both wood and food i'll add a refrigerator car well done yeah of the course it's well done soon grow. you can see how well it is being supplied at any time in the city dialogue basically a city will grow once its demands are sufficiently met i think you have i'm going to construct enough. a maintenance Complete building in cheyenne tasks. for 80000 and then i've got to do the supply but you won't have any success with so little capital oh he's gonna give me money planned on this being a loss making business but i'll help you out this one last time look at this all right so we built a um the little kind of repair station over here and this is our first train going from our resources let's see how much money do, do we go up by we're at two eighty nine thousand. Hopefully there's no train also in station somewhere else. That's a that's a clean over $10,000 right there just from this short bit of stretch. Now, what was he carrying? It's cool how normally you can see. So, let's uh let's see. And now there's no train going from Norfolk. Wait, that's Nor North Platte. North Platte. Yeah, there's no trains going to North Platte. I might create a train that goes from Norfolk through North Platte to Cheyenne. And it'll just pick up anything and everything. I don't have to specify the cars. A lot of the train games I've played in the past, like specifically any of those that are kind of inspired or based off of open TTD, like Machinki, I think I had to specify which cars 
Alright, so let's see what he fills up on. He's got... What is this? That's just all wheat. There's no... There's no wood. But it should be... I should be able to get both. There's just no wood in demand on the stockpile here. Oh, that's cool. We can check out all of our trains. But I'm very curious as to why we're not picking up wood. And now I want to see how Cheyenne's growing. Wait, Cheyenne has beer. Cheyenne's a brewery. Are the others breweries? North Plate is also a brewery. Or does that mean they just demand beer? How come everybody has a freaking brewery? All right, and so that green indication is that where we're growing. Ooh, 17,640. Give me the money monies. I think it's time to uh, build another train that goes from North Platte, or from Norfolk here, to North Platte. Now, how to do that? It's gonna be a busy stretch. $101,000 in rail? Sure. So I just made it a uh, twin line all the way here. So now we gotta do our signals. And oh, we gotta do an exchange. Okay, so that's kinda cool. The lights are here, so we got we should do them after that, yeah? Yeah, all right. I'm gonna do an exchange. Not that we need it, but I don't think you can do S exchanges. See, because I, I would want to do... Like, I'd want to have a little X overlap, but I don't think I can do that. That's only 40... 1400. Yeah, see, like, can I do this? Nah. -uh. Does not. So then what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna do it right after. We'll do an S. I want Xs, because my OCD is triggered by this, but... I don't know how to do that just yet. That's not to say it isn't possible to do that. Now, this is like planning for the future when we have like a lot more trains, but you know what? I'm expecting to have a lot more trains. And I like how signals don't cost anything, so we want them going up this way. So we'll do that. And then we'll also have our supply tower about midway on this track because it's rather long, so that's kind of like around this, this marsh area. So we got a supply tower. All right, here we go, it's working this time. I'm, I'm not sure what I did wrong. So we're gonna have it go, why can't, oh, I can't have it go all the way to Norfolk? Why? That's very strange. So I can go Cheyenne to North Platte. Maybe the rails just can't go that far. So I need a train going from Cheyenne to North Platte and North Platte to Norfolk. But I had one go from here to there to there, but I guess the distance is still just as long as that. We've got that, we've got the rail line, now we've gotta build the locomotive. We're gonna go here, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have all the custom rail cars here. And then we'll purchase it. And then we'll get that thing going. We're gonna need, um, we're, we're lowish on money, so I'm thinking maybe, can we do it? What's going on over here? Are you loading up? Oh, that's- I paused it. Okay. Oh, look! We can do a ride-along! Or we can center it. We can do a ride-along. Woo! Woo! Oh, hey! Check this out, man. What if you see, like, buffaloes and stuff out here? Oh, I can do the whistle! Oh, this is awesome! Hey, guys! How you doing? How's my train doing? We got any- Oh, hello, friends! How's your little warehouse over there? Alright, so we are gonna need to put a uh, supply tower midway here, which is about... right here. Excellent. And so now let's speed the game up. Because I want to see how much money we're making here on Cheyenne to North Platte here. Now, it's a Philadelphia 060. I wonder what that means. Is the... This is the number of cars it has? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm. Guess not. Yo no sé. Yo no sé. Choo-choo! Alright, how much money you make me? How much money are you making? Forty thousand dollars! Good lord! Bless us and save us, Mrs. O'Davis! We are making them money! This railway empire will, uh, grow and thrive. Alright, so now let's check our tasks real quick to see. Deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver. We could also deliver 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne. Now, we're trying to grow Cheyenne, so I'm thinking that may be what we want to do. Now, we gotta find the cattle out here. Where is the cattle? Here's some cattle. So, we gotta get it to Cheyenne. Where's the best spot? The closest 
bit of cattle. I think it would be here. Now we want to get it so it can get on the main line and then off of the main line as like we could do a T. I've never done that before, but we could try it. And there's also no train going from North Platte to um, Norfolk. So we're going to be doing that. Plus we've got the double track anyway, so we should be doing that. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a new train. You are going to go from Norfolk. What? What is the deal? There's something going on here. Maybe this station is too small. I'm gonna try that and see if it doesn't allow for us to upgrade. I'm gonna build a maintenance building. I'm gonna upgrade it. $100,000? Yeah, I guess. And we'll do a maintenance building. Now, can we... Can we do it? I'm wondering if that's the thing. North Platte? No! It just won't let us do it in Norfolk. That's very strange, in my opinion. I, I'm i not entirely sure as to what's going on. But I cannot... There There's no train going here, and ironically, that's where I decided to put... Unless I did the signals wrong. Oh, yeah, I did. Ha! Uh, yes, one more thing. Oh, my gosh. There's also a research department to Ooh. help you unlock new locomotives and other innovations. Ooh, yeah. Open the research dialogue to find out more about it. Okay. Here you will find the advances that can be achieved in the current era. Ooh, I want a caboose. Previous eras are usually already active, but what the future holds, we do not know. A special type of axle suspension on this locomotive offers the advantage that the drive wheels can also be steered, combining a high driving force with good performance. Now take a look around here and then unlock an innovation of your choosing. How about a new locomotive? I've got what, 1850? How much? Oh, I've got innovative points, 200. All right, I only get 40 per month. So we can come back here. I unlocked the new locomotive. What's this? Man, there's so much tech going on here. Standardized components, uh, tachographs, we got express trains, different locomotives, counter pressure brakes, steel wheel tires. There's a lot of stuff here. This is, this is depth. So the issue was, I just kind of dumbed it up and I had a train, I, I messed the signals up so there was no way to go from one point to the other. So, whoops. So now, all right, good. We got that. We're gonna add a locomotive. And let's make it, do we want it to be a dragon? Of course we do. Ooh, it's $50,000. My opponents say I'm lining my own pockets. These are, of course, hideous lies. Yeah, right. Look at it this way. With the profits I'm making, I can invest much more. There we go. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Now the whole place is connected. So at some point, I want to double up my rail lines on this stretch to connect to North Platte. And then I think I want to get cattle to Cheyenne. We could have a resource rail line. I wonder if I could get like all of these, if I could just make a resource loop or have little trains, because this is a lot of food here. I wonder if we could build a large station to get three of them. I can get two here, I can get two there. So I could do two and two, at least. But I don't have the money to do it first off. And then I could have it run through Denver and Cheyenne. That's a possibility. But the first thing we need is more money. Let's see what are the tasks here. With this amount of money, I could do beef to Cheyenne. That's one of my tasks. 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne. I don't know what I get from that. And we're almost already at 150,000. I think when you complete these tasks, and I've got four years to get to Omaha to Rock Springs, and a population of 30,000 in Cheyenne. How big is this city? 27,000, yeah, we're gonna hit that easy. Especially with the trains coming in and out now between North Platte. Come on, guys, give me that money, money. We gon' we gonna expand this empire here. Yeah? And I've, I I still haven't built a bridge over a river, which would be kind of cool. Wichita, Kansas, Oklahoma City, Amarillo, Texas. Welcome to Texas, you son of a biscuit. Santa Fe, Raton. No cities over here, but there is milk out in the middle of nowhere. Interesting. Well, I guess it'd be dairy. Grand Junction Station. So we need to go from Cheyenne to Rock Springs. That'll be interesting to carve our way through the mountains. Like it's probably, 
to build a rail through it. I have to wrangle with a lot of competitors, but if one person really gets on my nerves, then it's that Beatrix von Pomp. What? You haven't encountered it yet? Be glad. She takes everyone to the cleaners. North Platte has 33,000 people. Let's see your demand. Weekly demand of wheat is high. And I don't believe you're getting fed with wheat, but there is wheat right here. You may want to up the station and put a little little wheat supply train in. As far as making these things efficient, we have wheat, we have corn here. Cattle, I could get cattle all the way. I could make this one giant cattle train. Excellent. Cheyenne is becoming a major railroad hub. Yes. The credit is all ours. 30,000 people in Cheyenne. Did I get more money, boss? Yo, boss, where that money at, boss? Give me that money. We gonna make the money. What is this? It's just a canyon. Huh. So building a railroad over the canyon would be quite the feat, but it'd probably be smarter to just skip it entirely. Now, we want to get what? We wanted to get wheat. I wonder how you could do a train that can pick up from multiple places. Like, if I put a station here, here, and here, could you pick up all of them? Or is it just easy to just do one? Like this one here. Where's Evan's farm? I guess this is a train that goes on all of them. And we probably should do a double rail from Norfolk here at some point. Oh, look at this. 16 loads of cattle to Denver, then loads of meat to Cheyenne. Maybe Denver produces meat from the cattle. So I'm going to do that. All right, I'm going to first start with cattle to Denver. And what is this? Oh, they have a meat industry there. So that's why I want to supply them with it. Now, do I want to give them what is this? Sugarcane? It is sugarcane. Sugarcane, sugarcane. Well, I think... Please tell me I can get one of these that fits them both. Oh man. It's too small. But a large train station does. But then there's like four rails. You know what? I just want to do... I just want to do... I'm going to stick to the objectives here. And then we're going to have a small rail going in. Let's do a train station, actually. Because we're going to connect this to Cheyenne. Alright, so now we get the rail from here. Let's check this out. Boop. Just like so. Ooh, look at that. See? It's like it goes underground. I like how it does that all automatically. Alright, so now we're going to need a supply station. Wow, we're low on money again. We're going to put a supply tower uh, in the middle here. And one of these, I think Denver should have a refit repair station. But we're going to worry about that when we get the money. we got to prioritize what we want to do. We're going to set up the rail line between Kelly Ranch to Denver. And why is that orange? Oh, I guess that's the rail it takes. Okay, fair enough. We'll accept that. We'll add a locomotive. We're just going to do a cheaper one. Now, with this, there's no food on it. So I don't need a refrigerator card. These are live cows, I'm assuming. <laughs> All right, so we'll we'll buy the cheaper one, and now we're going to get we're gonna get cows. Here we go. Let's check it out. Kelly Ranch, Denver, going 29 miles per hour. Good lord, that's gonna take forever. Here's the supply, if you need it, and then we're gonna get to Denver and we're gonna up our meat production. Then we're gonna connect meat to Cheyenne. And it's gonna be easy peasy. This is gonna be a sub network, so or a sub rail, in my opinion. How much do we make off this? Where's that money? Look at that little trains are disappearing, which means they're being processed here. $16,000. Not bad. And let's see how we're doing. Meat to... Oh, wow. That was already half. Connect 150,000 people. We'll definitely do that by the time 1868 comes around. And uh, let's get... Now we'll just connect the rail line from Cheyenne here. On, I'm thinking I'm doing this one. Oh God, look at that! Oh, that that fit. That makes it better. Let's see how's this. Dang, look at this. This is ninety-five thousand dollars because of I think having to carve it through this. Look at that. Can you imagine going on a train ride and it's like you're going through a mountain? Ninety-five thousand bucks. All right. Now we are going to get. We do have to buy a supply tower on this route so I'm gonna put it right here 
Now we're going to build the uh, train. Set up the rail line. We'll do Denver to Cheyenne. And it's going to pick up all the loads, right? So, locomotive. We want this bad boy. And we're going to go... And I'm going to just... there. It, it is a city. So, we'll add what? It's going to have meat on it. So, I want a refrigerator car. And I don't really want to worry about people, necessarily. You know what? Screw it. I'll do that. I don't think it... I haven't noticed that, like, really ups my... My money on it. Or, like, the expense of the train. So, now we've got another one. So... We have a very, very long railway system here. We've got this feeder rail here that goes from the Kelly Ranch to Denver to Cheyenne. And then we've got the main, well, the main rail network that goes from Cheyenne to North Platte to Norfolk to Omaha. And I'm thinking that's pretty good. We've got a really, really good empire. Let's see. Oh, I want to see this guy. Let's do the ride along here. Going through the rocks. Look at that, man. This is crazy, dude. We did this. We dug through the mountains, or at least the uh, base of the mountains, but still. Our accomplishments should not be denied. And look at this. Here we are. Rolling straight into Cheyenne, which in, in my opinion, Cheyenne's kind of the capital of my railway empire right now. Because it's at the mountains. The other ones are cool, but like, this is, this is proving to be the nexus. Hey, everybody. How you doing? You guys having a good day over here? Look at this. Look at this city, man. Look at that. There's people running around on wagons and stuff. How much money are we going to get from this? 12000 Not a lot, but you know what? It's fine. And we are going to... Let's see. Did I deliver... Oh, I delivered five loads of meat. Okay, so it's not perfect. Oh, and we're actually getting... Here we go. We're gonna get this, uh... Well done. Yeah! The citizens of Denver are impressed by the... Denver road. just got supplied with cattle. The train is reply, uh, responding, or re returning to Kelly Ranch. Look at that. There's some cows at the station right here. Moo! You don't, you have no idea what's in store for you guys. I'm gonna have myself a nice double cheeseburger thanks to your contributions to my railway empire! Baron's Brigade, what do you think? This game is so fun. We've done relatively basic things, just kind of learning the game, learning the fundamentals of it. We've connected a great many cities and a great many resources. There's a lot to do. Let me know if you want this to be a series, whether it be a regular series or an occasional series. Regular would be like every other day. Occasional would be like once, twice a week. Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.